Where the pudge go? There he is! <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh my god. Oh, pudge. You're so scary. Run now! The addiction doesn't get, you don't get over it. Every morning I wake up and I'm like, I gotta do this, this, and I get nothing done. He's just in the weirdest position on the couch. You can't walk by that when he's blessing you with his body like that. You gotta acknowledge it. There's nothing more fancy than Pudge and he knows it. He's a national treasure. Body is magic. So we celebrate every bump on his body. Those are his accessories. Obviously he has eyebrows, right? These flaps. Oh my God, look at all the snappies. Sometimes he'll expose his undercarriage. That's called white stripe. I didn't even know something like him existed until he was in the driveway. Holy <laughs> Wow. He's part Egyptian, he's part potato manatee. They're really rare. And I knew I was doomed. He was brought in as a stray. He was given 24 hours and he would be put down. There's just no way I'll be able to not keep him. He would growl at me and sometimes he would yell. He had no like real life skills. Pudge didn't know how to work a couch, like at all. He didn't even know what a couch was. He didn't do much. He had no interest in me. He trusted me that I set him up for success by giving him whatever time he needed. You're so strong! I would celebrate the tiny things that he did, like tiny. Safari Wednesday? Where are you going? Getting up on the couch. Incredible. Yep. Yep. Are you nowadays, Michael Jordan? Come into the kitchen party. <laughs> wow! He would look at me like I was a crazy person, but I was really in my heart so excited because I wasn't able to celebrate the big things with Pudge for a long time because there were no big things. <laughs> and then he started realizing this is fun. I'm the center of attention. About time. My kids were howling, and never in a million years did we ever think a noise would come out of Pudge. And then all of a sudden, he hit a high note, and the train was on the tracks. And he was so proud of himself. And I know that he did not know what he was doing, but he just kept doing it because he thought it was fun. And he's really good at it. That is emotional. Pudge and I have a different relationship because he's not an excitable dog. He actually can care less. Look at him. He doesn't care. Pudge's natural habitat right here. This is what he does. Our relationship, because it took a year for him to really trust me, it's just deeper. Think that I have a different kind of respect for his space and for his privacy and for just the way he is. God, you're so wild. I just can't control myself. He is the perfect dog for me. Every little thing he does is magic. Kryptonite. He's he's canine kryptonite. He's my best friend. Magical. Look at him. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that he's doing an interview right now. He's busy.